What if everything you thought about Viagra was wrong? You've probably heard that it's risky if you have heart problems, that it's just for sex, that it's something men quietly take for performance, nothing more. But what if I told you it might actually help you live longer? Today, we're diving into one of the most misunderstood medications of our time. By the end of this video, you won't just be thinking about erections. You'll be rethinking what this pill could mean for your heart, your brain, and your future health. Let's talk about the little blue pill that might be telling a much bigger story. For years, men with cardiovascular issues were warned not to take Viagra or Cialis. The fear that these drugs might trigger a heart attack or dangerously lower your blood pressure. And there's some truth there, but only under very specific conditions. The real risk lies in combining these medications with nitrates, drugs commonly prescribed for chest pain or angina. When taken together, they can cause a rapid, potentially dangerous drop in blood pressure. That's serious. But here's the thing, if you're not on nitrates, the data tells a completely different story. Multiple large-scale studies now show that PDE5 inhibitors, the class of drugs including Viagra, Cialis and Levitra, may actually protect your heart. Let's unpack why. These medications don't just help with erections, they improve circulation throughout the body. Here's how. PDE5 inhibitors work by enhancing the nitric oxide CGMP pathway. That may sound technical, but the effect is simple. Your blood vessels relax, your arteries widen, and your blood flows more easily. This means better oxygen delivery, less strain on your heart, and more flexibility in your vascular system. Think of it like tuning up your plumbing, the less resistance in the pipes, the smoother everything flows. And that applies to the arteries around your heart just as much as the ones in your pelvis. This isn't marketing hype, it's backed by real human physiology. One major US registry study tracked over 70,000 men with erectile dysfunction. Those who took Tadalafil, the active ingredient in Chalice, were 34% less likely to die from any cause during the follow-up period. Think about that. One third lower mortality. That's not a minor benefit. That's massive. Another study out of Sweden looked at men who had already experienced a heart attack. Surprisingly, those who were given PDE5 inhibitors afterward not only lived longer, but had fewer repeat heart events. These weren't perfectly healthy men, they were survivors of cardiac trauma. And yet, the drug seemed to offer protective effects. Is it cause and effect? Not proven. But the trend is consistent across countries, across data sets, across health conditions. The direction is always the same. Men using PDE5 inhibitors tend to live longer and suffer fewer major cardiovascular events. That's more than just coincidence. Let's take a step back. Why would a drug for erectile dysfunction have anything to do with your heart? Because erectile dysfunction isn't just a sex issue. It's a vascular issue. In fact, the blood vessels in your penis are some of the smallest in your body, about one, two millimeters wide. That's even narrower than your coronary arteries. So when blood flow starts to decrease, those small vessels are often the first to show signs. Erectile problems can appear three to seven years before a heart attack. That makes your erection a kind of biological early warning system. It's not about libido, it's about circulation. Doctors are beginning to realize that when men experience erectile dysfunction, it may be the first visible symptom of a much deeper cardiovascular problem. And if you treat it seriously, not just with pills, but with full diagnostic workups, you can catch bigger problems early. Now, before you rush out and start ordering pills online, let's be clear. This isn't a license to self-medicate. These drugs must be prescribed by a physician. They have interactions, especially with nitrates, alpha blockers, 
and certain liver or kidney conditions. And the effects vary from person to person. Also, there's a thing called healthy user bias. That means men who seek treatment for ED might also be the types who take better care of themselves overall. They might eat better, exercise more, and follow medical advice more closely, which could explain some of the observed benefits. In other words, we can't give all the credit to the drug. Still, the biology is compelling, the patterns are strong, and the data, while observational, is hard to ignore. Here's where it gets even more fascinating. In 2021, a massive study was published in the journal Nature Aging. Researchers analyzed insurance records for more than 7 million people. Among men taking sildenafil, Viagra, the risk of developing Alzheimer's disease was 69% lower. Let that sink in, nearly 70% risk reduction for one of the most feared diseases of aging. Why might this be happening? Well, PDE5 inhibitors can cross into the brain. There, they help improve blood flow, reduce inflammation, and may even assist in clearing amyloid plaques, the toxic proteins associated with Alzheimer's. In animal studies, rodents on these medications actually showed better memory retention and learning. This doesn't mean we've found a cure but it does mean there's a compelling case to study these drugs more seriously as potential cognitive protectants. And trials are already underway. Here's the million dollar question. Should every man over 50 start taking Viagra as a preventative measure? No, absolutely not. At least not yet. These are prescription medications. They carry risks. And more importantly, not everyone needs them. But here's what you should do. If you're experiencing erectile issues, don't ignore it. Talk to your doctor, get your heart evaluated, check your cholesterol, blood sugar, and blood pressure. Ask about sleep apnea, weight management, and inflammation. Because treating the symptoms without understanding the cause is like painting over rust. It may look better, but the problem is still underneath. Your sexual health isn't separate from your overall health. It's a window into it. Here's the big idea. Taking care of your erections might just be taking care of your entire body. Everything's connected. The same things that improve your sexual performance, better circulation, lower inflammation, improve sleep, a stronger heart, are the same things that protect your brain and extend your lifespan. Viagra and Cialis are not miracle cures, but they are mirrors reflecting how well your body is functioning at a deeper level. And if we start treating sexual dysfunction as a system-wide signal, not just a symptom to suppress, we might not just improve quality of life, we might actually extend it. So here's where we land. The sex pill that millions of men quietly take may be pointing toward a far bigger medical truth. It's not just about performance, it's not just about masculinity, it's about survival. Whether you're worried about heart disease, struggling with memory, or just noticing things aren't working like they used to, don't dismiss it. Your body is talking to you. The question is, are you listening? If this video opened your eyes, hit the like button. Share it with someone you care about, and subscribe for more deep dives into men's health, longevity, and aging that matters. And if you're curious about what foods naturally support blood flow, hormone production, and sexual health, the next video in this playlist covers exactly that. Stay strong, stay sharp. And remember, aging doesn't mean decline. It means you've got more wisdom to protect and more reasons to live well.